it's Nicole McGuirk and today I have some projects featuring both Lawn Fawn products and also May Arts ribbon. My first project is a die cut paper basket and also paper carrots cut with the Silhouette Cameo. These are all designs from the Silhouette online store but I used Lawn Fawn pattern paper for all of the designs and then the May Arts ribbon to adorn both the basket and to shut these cute little carrot boxes which would be perfect little treat boxes for an Easter basket and then they could be used as decoration after the after the gift has been given so you could use them as decorations for the next year. To make the basket I used a design from the Silhouette online store. Um, the exact design is in the little bubble here above the uh, the work area that I'm showing and I'm securing it with brads. Now I forgot I needed to leave these open so that I could add the handle. I just die cut this basket from cardstock. I wanted it to be the same color on both sides so I chose not to use some Lawn Fawn pattern paper for this particular die cut piece and but there's going to be lots of color going on with the carrots so I wanted my basket to be neutral. Now for the handle of the basket I did cut it twice because I wanted it to be a bit more substantial and I'm just gluing them back to back with a little liquid adhesive the zig adhesive in, in fact and then all I have to do to secure the handle to the basket is apply a brad through the die cut holes in the design and then the handle and then secure it on the inside of the basket and this could be done any number of ways you could maybe even sew a button in place if you prefer I've also die cut lots of these carrot designs. The carrot design is also from the Silhouette online store like I said before and it's the exact design is shown in the bubble above where I'm working here so that if you would like to do something similar you can easily find this design. I cut the carrots using orange pattern papers from Lawn Fawn and I used lots of different papers. I ended up using paper from the Hello Sunshine collection Let's Polka collection, Into the Woods, and even Peace, Joy, and Love, which was the holiday collection. I wanted an assortment of greens for the tops of my carrots and also oranges for the actual carrot. Now you can see when I initially did this, I realized the inside of my carrots was going to be a different color of pattern paper since the pattern papers from Lawn Fawn are, are two-sided. So I'll show you how I fixed that in a little bit. At first I thought it wasn't going to bother me, but after I, I got my ribbon tied around the top of it here to secure it closed, I decided I didn't really like that. So I am going to, I'm using some of the May Arts ribbon in yellow to, to tie the tops of all my carrots closed. These little carrot treat boxes would be perfect for little jelly beans or maybe little chocolate eggs, things like that. Cute little things to maybe tuck in an Easter basket or just fun little gifts to give to little ones or even, even the, big, the big ones on Easter. So I'll be putting all of my little carrots in this basket. So I actually decided to cut two sets of the green tops for my carrots. And what I did was instead of leaving that scalloped bottom portion for the carrots, like on the outside, I just trimmed them at the scoring line that pre-cuts on the silhouette design. I cut all of them apart and just taped that top portion to the inside of my carrots. So you can see there, now they're two-sided. And I really like how that looks a lot better. After I have all my carrots done and the ribbon tied around them to keep them shut, I am taking this wide white ribbon with yellow polka dots, also from May Arts. All of the ribbons today are from May Arts, and I'm threading it through the handle of this basket. And I have to admit, I did choose this basket design for the fun handle because I thought it would be really cute to thread my ribbon through. And I went through one direction, and then I'm going to go back up, if that makes sense, up through the holes the other direction. So I'm just going to thread it back through. I had to decide which which side I wanted to be the front of my basket. But I'm going, I'm threading it back up and through the other way now so that the entire handle will have ribbon 
wrapped around it, which you see in the finished photos. So once I get all of the ribbon threaded through my basket top, I'm going to tie it in a bow on one side to finish off my basket. Now you could also maybe hang some small tags or things like that from these carrots if you wanted to. I chose not to for this particular project, but I think the smaller tag from the Lawn Fawn Tag You're It and either the tag stamps from the birthday or the holiday stamp set that coordinate with those die cuts stamped with a fun Easter greeting or maybe a cute carrot or jelly beans or, or a bunny from any of the Lawn Fawn stamp sets that have those images would be a fun finishing item if you are going to maybe give the carrots individually for Easter. So here I am with the ribbon all threaded through and I'm just going to loop that around. I decided to tie it first to kind of give it a little bit more stability. I'm going to loop that and tie it into a pretty bow. I really liked the width of this ribbon for the basket. It's nice and wide and really gives a nice substantial look, a good finished look for the basket. Just fluff that out and you could even maybe hang a little tag from the bow if you preferred that and we're going to give the entire thing as a gift to someone. This is also a fun idea if you wanted to create, you know, May Day baskets or something like that and tuck something else inside, some flowers or fun things like that. Trim the ends and the basket and carrots are finished. And I have another project showcasing some fun Easter ideas as well. We'll talk about that in a second. Here's a look again at the finished basket with those sweet little carrots poking out. And I also put some green grass in the basket to kind of make it fill in nicer. My next project are these cute little treat bags with the stamped and die cut tags. All of the treat bags were die cut using the 12 by 12 Let's Polka paper. I thought the colors were perfect for springtime and Easter and I decided to keep them consistent so they're all the striped designs for the gift bag. And then to make the tags, I am taking some vellum and I'm wiping it with the uh, powder anti-cling uh, bag so that when I put the embossing powder on the stamped image, I'm stamping with some Versamark, that the powder sticks only to the stamped image and doesn't migrate anywhere else and stick. I love using these anti-cling or using the anti-cling bag or, or some type of a powder tool. It really helps with your embossing. I'm going to sprinkle white embossing powder on all of these tags and then I will heat set all of these. I am doing all of them at once. It just makes it a lot quicker and easier to do it kind of assembly line style if you're making multiple bags. I think these will be really fun for my younger nieces and nephews and it even would make a great gift for really anyone. These, it isn't necessarily just for a child. So I will heat this up and then I'm going to take the coordinating die from the Tag Your It die set and I'm going to die cut all of my vellum tags. Now if I was doing this again, I wasn't quite sure where I wanted to put my greeting so I didn't do it before I die cut it, but I would really probably prefer to do any other stamping before I die cut these. However, I didn't for this particular project, so I'll show you what I did here in a little bit for that but normally I like to try to do all my stamping on vellum before I die cut it. I love using the post-it tape to hold my dies in place so that they don't shift when I run them through my die cutting machine. Now I'm cutting the little hole reinforcement that, court, that comes with the Tag Your It Lawn Fawn die set out of the 6x6 six six striped paper from the Let's Polka collection. And I'm die cutting the tags, the backing tags, because these are layered vellum tags. I want the solid piece to be the small polka dot from the 6x6 Let's Polka collection. I like the look of the smaller design, the smaller in scale design from the 6x6 paper pads for things like tags and 
and whatnot. I love how that looks with the bigger stripe of the gift bags, especially. So I've die cut those in the coordinating colors, same as the gift bags. And I'm stamping this cute little bunny from Silly Valentine stamp set. I thought the bunny was cute. And even though this is from a Valentine stamp set, it really works nicely with a, a Easter theme. And even the carrot is not from an Easter stamp set. This is actually from the Hoppy Halloween little mini Lawn Fawn stamp set. I'm coloring in all of my images with some Prismacolor colored pencils. I stamped them with the Simon Says Stamp black dye ink for this design. And then I'm coloring them all in and I'm going to blend out all of the coloring with some Gamsol. And I like to color them all at one time and then blend them all and then I will cut them all out by hand. These two particular stamp sets do not have coordinating dies, but it really didn't take much time at all to fussy cut all of these out for my tags. And I think it's well worth the effort. The finished design is really cute. Here I'm taking the Gamsol and a stump pencil and just blending out all of that colored pencil. Now, I thought some of the orange faded out a bit, so I am going to go back in with the orange and color over that again just to add additional detailing and shadowing. You can go over it pretty much as many times as you want to, um, add additional color, things like that. If it blends out too much and it looks too much of the same color like I thought the carrots did here, I, I really thought they all look like they were one color, you can go back in and, and add a darker color to make your detailing a little bit more prominent. Once I have all of my color designs blended out, I'm simply going to hand cut all of, all of these little pieces to put together the cute little scene on the tags. One last thing that I did to adorn these bunnies is add some white little dots and with a white opaque pen from Sakura. And then I did add some black glaze gel pen also from Sakura to the eyes to make them a little bit more prominent. And for the bunny tails, you may notice that I haven't done anything with those yet. I will show you here in just a little bit what I did for to give the little bunny the bunny's tail some dimension. Now here is the greeting from the Happy Everything Lawn Fawn stamp set. I am again going to stamp this with Versamark on each of the tags. Sprinkle it with the white embossing powder and then heat set that. Quick and easy. But again, I would have preferred to have done this before I die cut them simply so that they didn't shift or move quite as much as they did. It wasn't a big deal, but normally I do like to stamp that all at once. Sprinkle them with the white embossing powder and then I will heat set them and they will be ready to be finished. Next I'm taking the Grassy Border die cut. This is a new die from Lawn Fawn. And the green small polka dot paper from the 6x6 Let's Polka paper pad. And I am just going to die cut this. It doesn't have to be very specific or perfect, and I'll show you why. Once I have that grassy edge, I am going to take my tag die again, and I am going to cut this a couple times. I'm going to cut one a little bit deeper, because this is going to go on the background tag. This is going to go on the polka dot tag. Pop that out. And then I will cut one that's not quite as deep, and this one will be adhered to the front vellum tag. This gives some nice layered um, grass or a scene for the tag. So on the finished tag, it really makes a big difference. And I'll show you how I put it together on the blue tag here. Just going to adhere that deeper grass die cut on the back polka dot tag. Take my vellum tag and add just a little bit of adhesive to the grassy border. This also makes it so I don't have to cut them 
and round the corners or anything like that. I did snip off that one little piece that was bothering me. And by, di by die cutting the border first and then die cutting the tag shape, it just makes them line up perfectly. I like doing things this way. I'm adding a little liquid adhesive then to the bunny and I'm gonna tuck him in the grass. Try to get him positioned just how I want it. And then I did use some liquid adhesive to hold these little pieces in place. And a lot of times I like to set an acrylic block on top of that while it dries just so it doesn't move or buckle the paper or anything like that. Again, just a little liquid adhesive on the back of my carrots. I'm tucking them into the grass. I really think this grass die cut is fun for so many different things. For the tags here, it really adds a nice pop of color and just creates the perfect little teeny tiny scene for these tags. Finishes, 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 sorry, them off nicely. Got tongue tied. Now the whole reinforcer, I really think that finishes off the tags and I just glued that with a little zig glue pen as well. Now while the tags are the glue on them is drying. I'm going to assemble all of these gift bags. This is another design from the Silhouette online store, which um, it's shown here that the design is shown on the screen in case you want to do something similar. And it cuts the score lines and everything. You just fold it and then the one tab here along the side you add some adhesive. The bottom of the tag just folds in and tucks inside a little pre-cut slit in the bottom. I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm using two ribbons. I'm using one ribbon to tie into a bow and then I'm using one to hang the tag from the bow. And what I did for that is staple the ribbon in place onto my bag before tying it into a bow and then I'll show you how I finish that in a second. Now the thing I decided I wanted to add a little bit of the snow it's like a liquid applique type product and it you put it on wet and you heat it up and it puffs up and it just makes the cutest little dimensional cotton tail for the bunnies I just love it I think it's so fun for images like that I hope you can see that dimension there so I'm going to thread <clears throat> excuse me the thinner ribbon or this is kind of some twine through my tag and loop it around and I'm going to secure it into a knot and I'm not making this tag hang very long because the treat bags are not very big. I'm going to thread it through the ribbon that I've stapled to my gift bag. Move that up a little bit and you can see I've stapled it right to that flap so that when I open the flap it won't it, it doesn't secure the flap completely to the bag. That way it can be reclosed, reused if you want to. Um, if you want, you can take that tag off of the gift bag and use it for something else, all kinds of different things. So I'll just work with that bow till I get it just how I want it and then I'll trim the ends and do the same thing for the other treat bags. I hope you've enjoyed these Easter ideas using both Lawn Fawn and May Arts products. For more information, please visit the Lawn Fawn blog on April 8th, 2014. Thanks for watching.